Today, Jesus continues his conversation with the Pharisees and scribes, but now speaking to all of his disciples, all the crowds that are present there, saying that it's not those things that come from without, from outside a person that can defile, but rather it's what comes from within. The Pharisees and scribes are so are so interested in this ritual purity and what makes people fit or unfit for worship. But yet Jesus is saying it's not the things that they come into contact with, it's not the things that they eat, but rather the things that come from within their hearts. Those evil thoughts that can come from within our hearts, those things that we are temp- that make us tempted to sin. It's sin that is actually what defiles us, which makes us unfit to stand before God. And that can be a hard thing to realize because when he lists all of these sins, it's like, man, I might be guilty of one or more of those. But the good news is that Jesus knows those things. It, does, it means that it doesn't surprise him that these things are happening. So not that it makes it okay for us, but rather it gives us further motivation to say, Lord, help me to do away with this sin. Lord, forgive me of this sin. Because Jesus has declared that all things from without are clean, but that we can, from within our hearts, accept or reject those things that make us unclean. The heart is the place where all emotion comes from, yes, and all all of these things that can cause us to sin, but it's also the place where we can make decisions. It's the place where we can come into agreement with those, the, with the temptations that we can feel throughout the day, or that we can reject anything that is not from God and accept any consolation from God, all in our hearts. So we ask the Lord to guide our hearts today, to protect our hearts from any evil, sinful inclinations, but also that we might choose the good always, choose Him over anything else, because it's the Lord that we're seeking, and He is the one who will purify our hearts.